I want to welcome uh, Mayor Barkat and uh, let him know that uh, he is in his second home now, uh, New York City, and uh, like to say that it has been a joy spending this time today getting to know each other. We've spoken together on several occasions. You were one of the first mayors around the world to congratulate you. I'll never forget that when I was elected, and I thank you for that. And we spoke, sadly, after the tragedy a few weeks back, uh, the attack on the synagogue in Jerusalem. But we obviously um, feel a great deal of connection, a great deal of connection between our two cities and our governments and our people. And uh, I have had the honor of going to Jerusalem three times, and uh, undoubtedly one of the most important cities in the world, one of the most historic, one of the most beautiful. I can only imagine the joy of leading it and all of its uh, extraordinary uh, nature that, that you, you know, are now the steward of, uh, that all those centuries of history that you now build upon. Uh, and I can say that it's obvious Jerusalem is in very good hands. Uh, the uh, mayor has a real passion for serving the rich diversity of people uh, in his city. We talked a lot about what it means to lead people of all different backgrounds in a unified vision, uh, something we both think about a lot. Uh, we have a point, I won't say a point of disagreement, just a point of recognition that uh, he has the largest city in his country, I have the largest city in my country, but my city has a larger Jewish population, so I just wanted to... We agree. We agree. So, we agree. yeah, that's why I say it's not disagreement, it's just I like to be very proud of that fact. And, it must uh, be more difficult to manage two million Jews. Well, <laughs> I'll leave that for you to determine, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a wonderful community and a, and a huge part of what makes this city great. Um, I just want to note before I turn to the mayor that uh, I think you were in Paris a few, within a few days when I was. The day after you. And, you know, it's a, it's a moment, we certainly both feel this deeply, it's a moment to not just acknowledge what's happening around the world, particularly in Western Europe, but to demand some real changes. And um, I, I knew before the trip to Paris just how uh, troubling the situation was in Europe and in some other parts of the world where Jewish communities have come under attack. Uh, but it was eye-opening to speak to Jewish community leaders in Paris after what they had been through and to hear just how much more has to be done. And I think it's important for leaders around the world to um, hold up good examples while making the demand for change. Uh, Jerusalem is a place where, again, extraordinary diversity is managed and supported in, in a very positive and creative way under this mayor's leadership. Um, we here in New York City, we're very proud of our embrace of all communities. We're very proud, in particular, of the way we protect the Jewish community. The NYPD has been extraordinary. I, I say, you know, to people all the time, when there's, tragically, when we see an incident anywhere, Paris, uh, Buenos Aires, uh, Brussels, wherever we see an incident in the world, the NYPD goes on alert and reinforces Jewish community locations. That is the level of support and embrace of the community, I think that should be the model in Europe as well. I don't think Jewish communities should have to beg for protection. I think it should be a given. Uh, and that is something that should um, really be synonymous with what a pluralistic society is. And by the way, not just for the Jewish community, for any community that's under attack. Pluralism is not a passive act, it's an active concept. Protection and embrace uh, is what really shows that you're serious about a multicultural, multi-religious society, and that's what we work on every day here. So um, I just want to say to the mayor that uh, I, I am thrilled to finally, after, after having heard so many wonderful things, thrilled that we are finally meeting, that our governments are working together to try and help each other on, on issues of how to manage our cities well. And um, I can say safely what I heard from President Rivlin when, when he was here last week, that. Uh, uh, there's a sense among so many Israelis that a second home is not just in America, but in New York City. We're very proud of that fact, so I hope you also consider this your second home, and I welcome you. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. Uh, actually, it's an honor being here and meeting you. And I think the world knows that America is Israel's best friend, and New York is Jerusalem's best friend. Uh, I've been visiting New York multiple times as mayor, 
this time I came with my team, my professional team that spent time with your professional team, peer learning, sharing the challenges, the mutual challenges we have as a uh, city which is diverse. Yes. Uh, both New York and Jerusalem are brands on their own, international brands with huge international interest. Uh, and we have very, very similar challenges of economic growth, of tailoring the needs to the different constituencies, education, cleaning the snow. Mm. Uh, we have our <laughs> challenges as well. Um, and, uh, and security. Um, and I believe that uh, by listening, not only to our constituencies, but actually peer learning is a great way to develop the relationship and uh, our own abilities. That's why um, you'll find us spending a lot of time here. Uh, New York is a great city. Um, and uh, every time I come here, this time with my wife, we enjoy it tremendously and come back, with, uh, come back inspired to the city of Jerusalem. Now, I think that uh, the future uh, of the world is also supporting cities that sometimes go through rough challenges. And I, I, was, I was in Paris the day after you, um, sharing our knowledge and experience with the uh, mayor of Paris and, their, and her team. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I think that we, when we understand that we have to work together to separate the bad guys, which are not that many, mm -hmm. separate the bad guys and be very aggressive with the bad guys. This is the way to enable us to invest our energy in growth and education and developing our cities and our countries together. Uh, and I believe that uh, that common wisdom of very, very simple rules um, apply everywhere in the world. And so uh, I want to thank you, thank you, Bill, for your hospitality and uh, for your openness. And there's no doubt in my mind that we have a big future together the cities and personally and uh, peace-seeking people uh, of, of the people of New York and the people of Jerusalem. So I want to thank you. Well said. Thank you. He, he, he could run for office in America. Is no, thank so you. Good. No, no, no. I have no intentions. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you.